To change our lives forever, building our nations and our homes, restoring sights to the blind, bringing hope to the hopeless. It goes beyond language barrier, 'cause it's a God carrier. It's our messenger angel to the rest of the world. It traps so deep. Our reality is giving our lives a meaning. Rap so deep. Our reality is giving our day a lift. Directing our path, enlightening our world. Rap so deep. Our reality. Has come to change our lives forever. Coming up on Rhapsody of Realities. If you want to get ahead, you know what to do. <laughs> Be diligent. diligent. And Amen. you know what? That starts with being diligent, studying the Word of, Word of God. God. Yes, absolutely. It's yet another month in our year of the Word of God. Rhapsody of Realities, the world's number one daily devotional, is shaping lives. Building nations and making a difference in our world today. This month of October, join our hosts in London, United Kingdom, for an in-depth study of God's Word, as shared by Pastor Chris and Pastor Anita in the October edition of the Messenger Angel. In God, we can change our world. It is more blessed to give than to receive. Wake up and become somebody. It is indeed no longer we that live, isn't it? It's yeah. Christ and Christ in us. Is the hope of glory. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome once again to Rhapsody of Realities, your favourite daily devotional program. Today we are coming from the City of London and we are in the London Eye. Praise God. My name is Linda and my co-host is Ingrid. Hello, and isn't this view beautiful? You can just see、uh, Big Ben and the House of Parliament behind us, and we are literally just on top of the Thames. Now, London is well worth a visit, viewers, and、uh, you know I'm sure you will agree with us. London is such a great city, and we are so pleased to be hosting this program、uh, in London, the United Kingdom. Now, today is a beautiful day, isn't it, Linda? It is a beautiful day. Yes, today is Saturday, sixth of October, and we have a message from Pastor Anita called "The Gains of Diligence." Praise God! Wow! But you know what? Before we、um, start with that fun-packed message, you know, I'm so looking forward to tomorrow.、Um, it's Again, it's our communion service, and also Pastor Chris will be answering questions live. Yes, praise God, Hallelujah! It's always an exciting time when our man of God comes and delivers a message for the month for us. I'm so excited, and I cannot wait. Praise God! Now, viewers at home, make sure、uh, to send in your questions to Pastor yes, Chris、amen. in readiness、uh, for tomorrow. And you know, I'm sure you'll be blessed as Pastor answers and gives you a deeper insight into the Word. You'll be so blessed, and、uh, your knowledge, knowledge of your of the word,、uh, will be increased in your life. So make sure you tune in to tomorrow's questions and answer session、Amen. as well. Now we'll be right back with the word for today. Don't go anywhere, and stay tuned. You are watching Rhapsody of Realities Daily Devotional Program. Stay tuned. Aspirations. Opportunities. Possibilities. And it gets better because with Rhapsody of Realities, there are no limitations. Get your October edition of Rhapsody of Realities today. Call now to place your order, or order online at www.rhapsodyofrealities.org. Rhapsody of Realities, giving your day a lift. 
Enjoy an awesome time studying God's Word with the world's number one daily devotional using the Rhapsody of Realities mobile application, available for your iPad, iPhone, BlackBerry, and Android mobile devices. To use the mobile app, get on the App Store suitable for your mobile device, whether it's the iTunes Store, BlackBerry App World, or the Android Market. Download the Rhapsody mobile app and then create an account. Log in with your new account and then make your purchase of the devotional by clicking on Store. Choose the edition of Rhapsody of Realities you want to buy and voila! You're ready for an awesome experience with God's Word. Now, don't forget the added features on the app, your Bible study tool, the Rhapsody Web TV. You can share your testimonies on the app. You can also send in your prayer requests and so much more. It's a whole new world, so stay connected today. For more information, please call the number on the screen or send us an email to Rhapsody App Support at rhapsodyofrealities.org. Welcome back, viewers. We're going to go straight into the message with Pastor Anita. And um, the scripture is Proverbs 22, verse 29. Seest thou a man diligent in his business? He shall stand before kings. He shall not stand before mean men. Hallelujah. Praise God. Pastor Anita says, Diligence means giving the required attention and care for excellence and perfection in fulfilling one's responsibilities. A diligent person puts his best into what he or she does, paying attention to details with the sole purpose of attaining perfection. Well, I love that Pastor Anita explains exactly what, what it is. is. Absolutely, yes. Isn't it? Yes. It's just uh, diligence means, you know, giving required attention. Yes. You know, it's excellence and perfection. In, fill, in fulfilling your responsibilities. That's diligence. That's, that's very, very true. Being meticulous. And paying uh, attention to detail and make sure everything is in its place and you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Wow, isn't that amazing? So now we find out about the gains of all that, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> um, Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm excited. <laughs> so am I. Amen. Our theme verse says, if you're diligent, you'll stand before kings and not ordinary men. That's promotion. That means being diligent will bring you into places of influence and honor. That's amazing, isn't that it? That is amazing. Do you know, a lot of the people of these times have forgotten about being diligent. Yes, they have. Uh, you yes. know, we're a society of uh, rushing. Uh, you know, there's this word that we always say, we grab it, you know, we're on the, on the go, go. We grab something to eat. <laughs> yes, and, it's uh, true, it's true. Uh, you know, it's just, uh, you know, We've there's no much talk about diligence, is there? No. Not much talk about excellence no. and really keeping an eye to detail. Yes. Uh, looking into things really well and being committed to that. It's true. But, you know, Reverend India says here that, you know, you'll stand before kings and not ordinary men. That's promotion. You know, promotion yes. comes from God. Praise God. And that's the benefit of diligence, yes. isn't it? That's the benefit of actually keeping an eye to detail. It's true. You know, it said that means being diligent will bring you into places of influence and honour. You know, what a privilege, you know, that we can be in places of influence and honour. It's amazing, isn't it? And you know, you don't need to have a great job to be diligent. No, you it? don't know. Just be diligent in what you do. Exactly. It's yes. not how you start, it's how, how you, you finish. finish. Praise so God. you could be working at McDonald's or, you know, yeah. uh, uh, at, uh, you know, uh, anywhere really. You could be living in a very small flat. But when you are diligent, yes. you will stand in front of kings. Amen. You will have that promotion. Praise, Praise God. God. Now, Pastor says, the Bible shows us David as an example of a diligent young man. Yes, amen. The responsibility to tend sheep given to him by his father seemed menial in comparison with those of his brothers who were in the army. You know what, again, it's not how you start, is it? No, it's not how you start. But David faithfully and diligently took care of the sheep. Amen. So much that when he had to run other errands, the Bible specifically records that he was careful enough to leave the sheep in the care of a keeper. Wow, praise God. You know, God. David knew that these sheep were his father's sheep and he took care of them. He did, he, he knew that it was very important. 
even though he was just doing those things and his brothers were going to the army and fighting wars and battles and doing something great as you would think in the world that's a great thing to do but he was taking care of those sheep and making sure that they were safe he was you know the the lion and the bears we read in the bible that he fought them off and it's pretty amazing isn't it to do something so tedious as in to you know it's not a a high important job but he took that very seriously, his responsibility. And to you know, that. that shows you the mindset of David, isn't it? Yes. He was excellent in he anything was. he did. Yes. Even in tending sheep, he knew that that was the Amen. task that he was given for this time, and he did it well. Amen. And you know, if you, if, if you uh, live life and you think, well, my job's not really that important, you know what? Do that job well. Yes. Do it with diligence. Be Amen. diligent. Be steadfast. Amen. Be committed to what you have. Uh, God and, and what you are doing uh, and you know you are being promoted by God through that now let's hear more about uh, the rhapsody for today amen it goes on to say the diligent never lacks he could becometh poor that dealeth with a slack hand but the hand of the diligent maketh rich that is Proverbs 10 4 while he becometh poor that dealeth with a slack hand, um, wow. but the hand of the diligent maketh rich. That that's is, some, that's do you know what, I, I never really looked at that scripture mm -hmm. uh, in such detail, but mm. you know, I realized that, you know, even if you have, let's just say, if you have a house, a car, uh, uh, you know, you can become poor, these things can be taken away yes. if you're not diligent. Yes, it's true, it's very true. Wow, that's amazing, you know, that should, encourage you to be diligent you know that should enc encourage you to do better and greater things Amen. you know by being committed to them to those things that have been entrusted into onto you uh, by taking your responsibility and your duty seriously yes that's very true we're going to go for a short break and um, please stay tuned we'll be right back watch the rhapsody of realities daily devotional program welcome to rhapsody of reality daily devotional program a fresh word from god every day with all the right spices different people i'm choosing the love highway that corresponding action is not faith. faith yes don't allow those situations to determine you living your life to its fullest we have a life to enjoy cultures, places and languages. Every day is a great day. Showing on this station. Enjoy life to its fullest. Get clear understanding of God's Word. It gets into depth. It, it's got God's Word and then like an explanation and that really helps bring it home. Experience true love. Each day I see how God loves me and how He teaches me how to love others. Peace beyond comprehension. I feel in my heart yeah, the peace of God. I, I suddenly come to realize that this is something that I have been searching for. Perfect health. I could and I could walk and I could hear again. I, I just recovered totally. If the best is what you want, Rhapsody of Realities is what you need. Get your October edition of Rhapsody of Realities. Call now or order online at www.rhapsodyofrealities.org. Rhapsody of Realities, giving your day a lift. <laughs> 